Hey, Uriel Kame here, registered holistic nutritionist, author of the Diabetes Debacle and professor of Super Nutrition Academy. And in this video, I want to talk to you about something very serious that's affecting more than 80% of people suffering with type 2 diabetes for 10 years or more. And it's called diabetic retinopathy. Now, if you're watching this video, obviously you probably were searching for this. So um, I want to make this as easy to understand for you as possible because if you do have diabetes of you know whether it's type 1 or type 2, this is a very, very serious problem. Uh, because being able to see the world is a pretty nice thing to have, be able to do. And unfortunately, what happens with diabetes is that if prolonged, uh, we can actually totally lose our vision, uh, and and be, you know, and I'll and I'll show you how this works. So what I have here is a, a beautifully, uh, a beautifully done drawing of the eyeball. This is the anatomy of the eyeball, a very simplified version. So we have the eye, right? This is the eyeball. We have the optic nerve, which obviously connects to the brain, and we've got our pupil, lens, iris, all that stuff in this area. But what I want to kind of divert your attention to is right back here, the back of the eyeball. I, I don't know if you can see this properly, but there's a kind of a red lining that I've used here. And this is your retina. The retina is kind of like the projection screen of, of your movie, the, the way you see the world. What happens is when you see something visually in the world, it's kind of like reflected off a mirror and projected back onto the retina. So what you're actually seeing in the world is like this movie that's being played on your retina in the back of your eye. It's actually, it's amazing how our eyeball works. But sadly, for a lot of people who suffer with type 2 diabetes for a prolonged period of time, this vision, you know, that we take for granted can dramatically be compromised. So here's what happens. With diabetes, the issue is that there are elevated levels of blood sugar and insulin for a long period of time. Now, because the back of the eye and the eyeball receives blood flow from very, very small blood vessels or capillaries, this high level of sugar uh, causes a number of things to happen at the cellular level. It, it signals all, all sorts of uh, bad protein kinases and other signaling pathways, which I'm not going to get into here. But essentially what you need to understand is that sugar, high levels of sugar in the blood, causes the blood vessels in this area of the eye to become leaky. So essentially what happens is that there's more fluid and protein loss from the blood vessels and what that leads to is something called macular edema. And this is where we have, for instance, I'll just draw you another really cool picture here. If we have our blood vessels, okay, so this would be a blood vessel, beautiful drawing once again, and we have uh, red blood vessels, proteins, and other stuff. What happens is with a lot of sugar it changes the, the nature of what's happening inside the blood vessel physiologically. And what ends up happening is that over time, we have a lot of leakage of stuff, of fluid. We lose protein, we lose fluid, and this leads to something called, as I just mentioned, edema, which, you know, if you've ever sat on an airplane and your, and your ankles get swollen, your feet get swollen, that's the same thing that's happening, but in your eye. So what ends up, why this is a problem is because there's an area of your retina called the macula. So it's right about here. And this area is responsible for central vision, so being able to see straight in front of you. So what happens with macular edema is that the blood vessels in this area start to become leaky, more fluid builds up in this area, and it starts to compromise your ability to see properly. So what used to be able to, you know, what used to be able to uh, see properly now becomes blurred. You might actually have black spots in your vision if this is obviously a more advanced case of diabetic retinopathy. Now, why this again happens or how this, uh, you know, to make this even worse is something else wh wh that happens with kind of diabetic, this whole process, is normally there are blood vessels, okay? There are blood vessels, like little capillaries and stuff like that, you know, in this area. What happens with diabetic retinopathy, though, is that new blood vessels, okay, start to be created. And so we have all sorts of little guys starting to be created here, so there's more and more blood vessels that are 
basically, you know, kind of growing in and of these areas. Now you think, you know, at, at first you might think, oh, you know, that's actually a good thing. Well, it's actually not a good thing because what this hap what, ha what happens here is that with more blood vessels, these small blood vessels become even more leaky. And so it further exacerbates this whole macular edema uh, problem. So you get more fluid buildup in this whole area, the vitreous of the eye. And, you know, sometimes, you know, in severe cases, uh, with surgery, they'd go in and kind of release the fluid. Uh, you know, you can have laser surgery done for this kind of stuff. And in some cases, doctors will actually inject uh, corticosteroids, like cortisone, into the eyeball to reduce inflammation. I mean, it's crazy. They're effective, but there's a much easier way to prevent and hopefully reverse this. Um, so the idea here is that the blood vessels are what the problem is. And it's the same thing with diabetic neuropathy, right? Uh, the nerves going to the feet become compromised. We'll save that topic for another video, but this, it's the same idea. High levels of sugar in the blood are hugely damaging to the body. Diabetes is a disease that is a little, it's a rotting disease. Sugar is an acid, okay? It little, it's like pouring battery acid in your arteries and, and, and seeing what happens. Um, over time, sugar corrodes your arteries. It leads to all this leakiness leading to edema in the eyes. And even if you don't have diabetes, you, I guarantee if you pay attention to this, if you have a high sugar meal, like a dessert, within a few minutes afterwards, you'll probably notice that your, your vision becomes a little bit more blurry. And this is what's happening with the advanced stage of retinopathy, where you, what used to be clear is now totally blurry. It's almost like wearing beer goggles. And with even more progression of the disease, you get this macular degeneration or macular edema, which leads to actual black spots uh, because you know, you're getting retinal detachments uh, and all sorts of other complications that could be avoided. That's the key, that could be avoided before this even occurs. And that's what I want to talk to you about next is that how do you avoid this from happening? Now, I'm going to be very honest with you. If you're at the stage of blurred vision and black spots in your eyes, um, you know, you might, it might be, you know, you might be at a point where surgery might be the only option. However, if you have type 2 diabetes or if you're pre-diabetic or if you don't have this going on yet or if you don't think you do, I want to give you some very important strategies to help you prevent this because I want you to know that type 2 diabetes is the most reversible lifestyle disease. Diabetes is really a lifestyle disease that wasn't even existing 100 years ago. But because of the foods we're eating now and our lack of activity, we're developing diabetes um, like it's going out of style. In fact, it's become such an ep ep epidemic that in the States, the United States, one out of every three Americans now suffers from type 2 diabetes. And instead of it being it used to be called adult onset diabetes. Well, now we're seeing kids as early as 10 years old developing type 2 diabetes. So what's going on? Well, it really comes down to the foods we're eating. And again, it's not your fault. I, I firmly believe that uh, a lot of the blame should be placed on a lot of these food companies, fast food companies, the big food conglomerates that seem to be getting away with murder uh, with respect to what they're able to get out into the market in terms of the foods, the fast foods and the garbage that they're polluting your body with. So I want you to understand that you're not alone, but now with this information, you now have the responsibility to make better choices. So the key really is to follow a diabetic friendly diet, which is really low in sugar, obviously, <laughs> eating more low glycemic index foods, which means that foods that are on the lower side of the glycemic index and are not going to spike your blood sugar and your insulin levels. And you want to be eating foods that are anti-inflammatory, lots of fruits and vegetables, because a lot of this process that's happening in the eye, a lot of this stuff that's happening in the blood vessels is inflammation related as well. So you want to be eating lots of fruits and vegetables for their antioxidant properties and their anti-inflammatory properties as well. Now, um, if you'd like more information about this and if you have two, type 2 diabetes and you want to learn some better alternatives than the medical approach because we've seen that the medical approach does not work. Well, I've prepared a special report called the Diabetes Debacle and you can grab it at this website which is right at the bottom of this video or the link below and you can get free access to that report. Um, it's, a, it's an eye-opening report and it's going to illuminate or really kind of just bring to light 
uh, a lot of the nonsense that's happening in the medical establishment with respect to a lot of the therapies that are being used for type 2 diabetes like insulin, uh, a lot of the pharmaceuticals and in a lot of cases these pharmaceuticals are doing a lot more damage than good. So if you want to learn about this information again go to the diabetesdebacle.com the link is right here and uh, I've prepared a ton more information for you as well. So I'm here to help you overcome, again, if you have type 2 diabetes, I want you to know that there is hope. You can completely reverse it. And I'm going to show you how. So uh, just go over to the website, check it out. If, uh, if it's something that's of interest to you and you want to reverse your diabetes, then this is something you need to know about. Again, I'm Uriel Kim. Thanks for watching. Hope this has helped you out. Again, diabetic retinopathy, it's tough to reverse once it's at this stage, but you can prevent it from happening by taking action now. Again, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the healthier side.